Hi everyone, Renee here. Welcome to this week's Pick a Pile reading. This reading is relevant for the week of July 12th, 2021. I can't believe it's already July. The summer has been flying by. So pick one of these three piles here. Whichever pile you choose that accompanying reading is for you. If it doesn't resonate, go ahead and take a look at your second choice video. Which pile do you feel the most drawn to? Is it pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three? When you've made up your mind, you can look below at those timestamps and fast forward to your reading. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope you all have a great week. Hello group one, let's take a look at your reading. Your first card is this image. I'd like you to take a good look at this image. What does it make you feel? What does it remind you of? What does it make you think about? What are you remembering? This has some significant meaning for you this week, this image. Some significant meaning for your soul this week. Your second card is play. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Your guides, your higher self, your angels want you to have fun and loosen up a little bit this week. And don't be so serious. Thirdly, we have for you healing this week. I love how these flowers match these flowers. Pink, beautiful pink flowers. We also have for you integration, forgiving self and others, reunion, let go of defenses, open the door, letting go of defenses, forgiving self and others, maybe healing some kind of a conflict within the family or within your friend circle or your soul family or your tribe. And then there is a reunion. I love that. And finally, with the Oracle cards, we have Full Moon Temple, Celebration Peak, Transcendent Moment. So another illusion here to celebrating and having fun with others for you this week. So it looks like a very social week for you, Group 1. Looks like there's a lot of socializing and possibly some healing within your social group, your tribe, etc. Let's see what we get with the Tarot, get some specifics about the week. So we have three of coins coming up first. We have justice. We have ruler of wands. We have seeker, which is the page of wands. And we have the ace of coins. Wonderful, wonderful. So definitely no worries about money by the end of this week that ace of coins promises a new beginning financially coming in from the page a message about your work and money so maybe if there was a delay in a payment there will be a payment by friday this week because of your hard work this is a card of celebration having fun with others that's just validating those upper cards the oracle cards and movement. We have the chariot, which is movement towards something new, a new beginning perhaps, a new beginning with someone who you've, who you've known for a long time. All right, so maybe that is healing this relationship. It could be all about healing this relationship that has gone sour, and that enables you both to move forward with the relationship. We have 10 of coins. There's planning for the future this week as well, financially. Um, looking into certain funding for the future for retirement for some of you. Um, coming up with ways to get out of debt by the time you retire, you know, pay off a house, etc., etc. Financial planning is occurring this week. Happy home, very stable home life. We have a little bit of a resting period. By the end of the week, you're going to be tired. There's a lot of work happening. And I will say the chariot is all about movement. It's movement with your work or career or your schooling or a creative endeavor. So, But it's also victory. So you are moving forward 
victorious. Someone is a fire sign. We have ruler of wands right here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or it could just be you representing you and your work or a creative endeavor or your schooling where you've just got it down pat. Everything's flowing fairly easily for you and your work this week. You are moving forward and working hard to reach a goal and thus planning for the future. Let's see what else I can get for you, group one. We also have judgment. Wow, yes, there's a balance, the balancing of something. Overall, it looks like a pretty balanced week, but only because you are healing and you are being reminded to play, have fun, celebrate, and not be so serious. And of course, because there's some healing happening within this relationship, okay? Some of you, it's going to be a family member. Some of you, it's going to be a love interest. It's different for all of you, but there is some type of resolution to the conflict, and it only comes from forgiveness is what this is saying, and letting go of defenses, all right? Letting go of your defenses. For some of you, that's all about opening up for love, and this ruler of wands could be a love interest coming in, fire sign. That's a possibility as well. Yeah, we have the Nine of Wands. This is all about restructuring. Feeling secure, okay? But it can also be restructuring. I feel like many of you are planning for and structuring your future. You want to be financially stable in the future for retirement and you're meeting with someone, talking about the finances, getting it done the investments, the 401ks, whatever they might be. Um, let's see what else I can get psychically. Looking at the cards, I'll draw a few more tarot cards here. Two, two of cups, this is a new beginning. A new beginning with a relationship. Could be a love relationship. Could be the person that you had a conflict with, but it is a new beginning. It's the end of the hurt. Yeah, this is the pain that occurred because of the conflict. So. This week is definitely emotionally healing for you. Things are changing. Things are moving forward. You are integrating with others. There is forgiveness, not only from you, but the other person or the other people as well. There's forgiveness all around is what I feel. You're not the only one forgiving and doing the apologizing. You know, it's, it's more than one person. For many of you, it's two people. And for a few of you, it's a few people. Um, but it's different for all of you. But essentially, there is the healing of that relationship. There is a new beginning with that relationship. Or for some of you, this is a new beginning in love. You're meeting someone new this week. Again, no money's, no worry about money. The end of the week promises some kind of money coming in, whether it's a paycheck or a bonus or something unexpected. There is money coming in. Your home life looks pretty stable. But again, remember to play, have fun, celebrate, and not be too serious this week. Anything else I need to tell you? Now, I do kind of get from your image here, and really what counts is what you feel, but I feel that this is kind of, it reminds me of the spiral staircase that they say we're climbing to enlightenment. So that's what it reminds me of. And the flowers just remind me of healing with the pink and green. And we have DNA strands as well. So some of you could be healing ancestral patterns this week. Maybe you don't even realize it. Or maybe it's this, it's a family feud that's been passed down or something, and that's part of this ancestral pattern. But I feel like that's part of what's being healed this week, okay? You can see in this card as well, there's the same pink flowers with the lovely green leaves. All right, so there is healing this week in that area. And again, with the full moon temple, I would say pay attention to, yeah, number seven's coming up twice. Number two's coming up a few times. Pay attention to number two and number seven this week. There is a celebration happening. It is the peak of something, a transcendent moment of the full moon and the full moon temple here. So something's going to hit its peak here. It might have to do with your creative ability or your work. And maybe that's why we have the chariot here. You're forging forward and reaching goals and reaching a point of victory and recognition. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Hello, group two. If you chose this second pile, this is your reading for the week of July 12th, 2021. Let's take a look at your first card. 
So you have this image to contemplate on. What do you feel? What do you see? What does this make you remember or remind you of? It has meaning spiritually and for your soul. So take a look at this. Pause the video if need be. There's some sacred geometry happening here. Very beautiful. There's your first card. It's going to be different for all of you. It's going to mean what you feel intuitively it means. And I'll give you my take on it later. Second card here. Get grounded. Empaths. Highly sensitive. Connect with nature. You group two are empaths. You're empathic. You're highly sensitive. You need to clear and cleanse your energy by getting outside in nature this week, okay? If you're working a full week, just take a walk after work. If you have time and energy, go for a hike. Just get out in nature because it is the most cleansing and healing thing on earth. It's being out in nature. Better than any crystal or any medication or any herb. Get out in nature. We also have for you kindness to remember to be kind to others and of course be kind to yourself. Fourthly for you, we have breathing, ground, feel sensations, purity, clarity, and expression, which kind of goes along with the get grounded card. There's the word ground here, feeling the sensations. Also, it looks like she's in water or near water. Maybe you want to take a walk by the beach or on the beach, get in the water, get some do some breath work. Deep breathing exercises are fantastic for us. Um, cleanse in the water. You'll get some clarity out in nature. So there's the breathing there. And the last oracle card for you is Aurora Garden. Beginning, initiate, and origin. So it's the beginning of something for you this week, group two. I'm trying to get all of these in the frame so you can see them all. All right, let's get into the tarot and see what else I can tell you, group two. All right, we have four of coins. We have the conqueror of wands. The moon. Seeker of Wands, and we have the Ten of Coins. So let's take a look at these cards first off. So the Four of Coins, okay, there's maybe being a little bit too miserly with your money, but for some of you, the message is the opposite. For some of you, the, the message is that you have a reason to be frugal. So this is all about frugality, but it can also be someone being a little bit selfish. I feel like for most of you, it's a message to be frugal this week, okay? Um, we've got this Knight of Wands, the World card right on top of that, and then the Moon. This looks to me like there's some action taken within your spiritual world. So maybe you're learning something new. Maybe you're taking a tarot class like the one I'm offering. Maybe you're uh, following some videos online, um, energy work, qigong, anything like that. You're doing some work spiritually is what it looks like. Look at this, the Wheel of Fortune for you, group two. Oh my gosh, that's just a good luck card. It's saying this week's going to be very fortunate for you, very lucky for you. Do not doubt that. That is a very strong card and the Hermit, and the Ten of Coins, and the Seeker of Wands. There's something else you're learning about has to do with money and investments, okay? So you're learning a little bit about, about money. Um, maybe that's what I was talking about here. Maybe that's what you're kind of doing. You're learning something spiritual, but you're also learning something that the logical mind or the left brain could enjoy. It's all about investing in money and planning for the future, so you're really considering that. Similar to group one, I would say, but yours is more spiritual here. You've got a lot of spiritual cards coming up with the tarot. Let me see what else I can tell you. Okay, 
Six of Swords. There's a transition. All right. Page of Cups. Okay, so there's news coming. The end of something and then the beginning of something else. So that's what it is. It's the end of something and the beginning of something else. Some of you, it could be the last week at your job. It could be the week where you tell them, this is my last month or my last year in this company. I'm going to retire. I'm going to do something else. Some of you, maybe you're graduating something or getting certified. It's the end of something and there's a transition phase here, okay? Transitioning to the next phase, the next level is what that's all about. Let's see what else I can tell you, group two. The chariot forward movement and the sun, bliss and joy. You have a lot of major arcana here, a lot of major arcana. This is definitely a shift happening for you this week. It has to do with your inner self more than anything else. Your inner self and your environment might be changing. You've been thinking about this for a while is what I feel. Maybe you've been contemplating a move, leaving your job, taking a new job, taking a whole new career path altogether. And by grounding and getting out in nature and doing some deep breathing, it's going to become clear to you. The path is going to become clear to you. Your guides want you to know that. Your higher self wants you to know that. You will be the conqueror. Um, someone involved also could be a fire sign. This is the Knight of Wands, but it's someone going full force, very fast, very energetic, and excited towards the future. That's what I feel for you. So this ending, whatever this death is, whatever this ending is, you are not fearing it at all. It is nothing to you. You are very much looking towards the future, which looks extremely bright. There's the new beginning here, the joy, the bliss. You've done the work and it's time to move on. It's just time to move on. That's what this could mean as well. Beginning, initiate origin, a new beginning for you this week, group two. Let's see what else I can get for you. And I love that Wheel of Fortune card. Awesome. Sovereign of Cups. So you could be a water sign. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but essentially that would be you being in touch with your intuition, being in touch with your emotions, being in touch with what you really want, what you really desire. And you might have already figured it out, but this is the week of action. This is the week of action with the chariot and two wands here. This is the week of making it all happen of announcements telling others your plans um becoming clear there's clarity here very clear on what you need to do to get to where you want and there's pretty much no stopping you look at this options lots of options opening up for you group too once you start this this going it's just going to keep on rolling down the right path and it's going to keep rolling fast. It's not stopping anytime soon. And you are starting it all. So again, let's look at this. Now for this, I feel, I just get directions. That you will get clear directions on what to do. I'm going to do this, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then this. And then I'll be where I want to be. So everything becomes very clear to you, group two. It's a week of clarity, of grounding. Don't forget to be kind to yourself and to others. When you make this announcement, you want to be gentle. Some people are going to miss you. They're going to miss the old you, or they're going to miss you literally if you're moving or changing jobs. But it's all right. Everything looks fantastic for you. We've got the sun and the wheel of fortune underneath there. Best of luck to you, even though you don't need it. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, Group 3, and welcome to your reading for the week of July 12th, 2021. Let's see what your first card is. So you have this lovely image, and it's going to mean whatever you feel it means. What do you feel when you look at this image? What do you think about? Does it remind you of anything? Spark a memory? Spark something in, intuit, intuitively? You can pause the video if you need to. I'm going to give you my take on the image in a little bit. Here is your beautiful first card. 
All right, group three, let's see what else we have for you. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Wow, deep question for the week. Deep question. Next we have for you guidance. You will be receiving guidance this week from your ancestral spirits, your ancestors, elders, and angels and guides. We also have for you expression, authentic expression, words are powerful, and truth. We also have for you the dolphin collar, pure joyful friendships and loving help. I love that. So looking at the first cards here, it looks like part of your soul purpose could be the written word, either writing or speaking in some way expressing your truth, okay? Expressing your truth is part of your soul purpose. All right, but you will receive guidance about this and we are going to delve into the tarot and I'll let you know what I get with the tarot cards and what else I'm feeling psychically. All right, group three, let's see what else comes up for you for the week. So we have the Three of Wands, Nine of Swords, Seeker of Wands, which I believe that card's come up for every reading so far today, Nine of Coins, and Seeker of Cups. Okay, the Seekers are the pages in the regular tarot. So let me take a look at these cards and I'll be drawing on them. Okay, you are definitely manifesting something, but you are anxious about it. You are worried about it. You are a little bit frightened, okay? This does have to do with expressing yourself. You don't wanna make a fool of yourself. You're afraid to express and share yourself. And it could be with the written word here with this page of wands, could be the arts. Um, I'm saying to you and your guides, don't be afraid. Look at that, conqueror of coins, absolutely. Do not be afraid. It's going to be a slow and steady process, whatever this thing is, whether you're writing a book or creating a series of paintings or expressing yourself in some other way. It's going to take time, but you just keep on doing what you do. Be slow and steady. Don't give up and it will be finished eventually. I feel like this week, might be the beginning of this for some of you, but for others, you've already began it, so you know exactly what this is. It's something you're working on that you're maybe right now not planning to share with the world, so maybe you're doing something for yourself, but I feel like maybe you're going to be sharing it with others eventually. Maybe this is just the seed of something that grows into um, what's part of your path, part of your soul path in this lifetime. We have courage for you. Have courage. Don't be afraid to do this. We have the lovers. I was going to say the next few cards kind of point to a happy home. So there's definitely a happy home here. If you're in a relationship, things look really good this week. Very loving, very peaceful. You're very content with each other. If you're not in a relationship, then this would mean maybe somebody's coming in. Seven of Swords, let's see what this is. Seeker of Cups, Page of Cups. You, someone could be a water sign, that's a possibility. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Might be you, might be the other person coming in. But you are still healing from the past because someone stole your heart and ended up breaking it. Okay, so for some of you, there's someone new coming in or someone recently has come in and they're still there and they're not giving up, but you are afraid to move forward because someone hurt you in the past. Okay, let's see what else I can tell you. Group three, yeah, definitely, definitely rebuilding. You're definitely building up confidence. Oh yes, absolutely. Many of you, the home is absolutely stable. You're with someone who supports you and loves you. You have no doubts about that. They're going to be 
cheering you on with whatever this is. Yeah, and any kind of entrapment that's occurring is self-inflicted and you can escape it. You can escape being trapped, being stopped by your doubts, by your fears. And you, luckily you, have someone or several people who are supporting you. You have pure, joyful friends and loving help, lots of help, lots of guidance this week on what to do on your path moving forward. So pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to repeating numbers, look up to see what they mean, pay attention to your intuition. Yeah, and there's many opportunities coming your way because you're opening up to this abundance that's coming for you. It's definitely abundance in love with emotions, but it's also abundance monetarily with finances and with work, um, doing something you love. Now for you, group three, I feel that whatever you're doing that you love, it's probably going to be creative. And you know you're never going to be a millionaire, but you know what? You don't care. You just want to be happy. You want to be comfortable answering your call, expressing yourself. Possibly many of you are writers or speakers or vlog or blog or whatever they call it. It's speaking your truth and expressing yourself and expressing your truth, essentially. Two of cups, so that's the relationship again. Definitely someone with you, supporting you. If you don't know who that is, then guess what? You're going to be surprised this week because someone's going to come in and show you how much they support you and your work and maybe your path if you tell them what your plan is. Um, yeah, it looks really good for you, group three. Let's take a look at this first image again and let me see what I'm getting here. With this, I'm kind of getting the same type of energy which you feel with the Seven of Cups, which is lots of options are coming for you. Lots of choices, lots of things to choose from. This is definitely a good thing. You just have to be open. See how the flower image is open and they're opening here. You have to be open to receiving these, to being able to greet these opportunity with an open mind, with an open heart, and knowing that they are part of your path and you will have the power to choose one of them. You will have the power to choose one of these opportunities coming your way and it's going to be the right choice. You will get guidance, you will get help to make the right choice. Don't doubt that at all. All right, group three. Deep reading just for the week. It might play out a little bit longer, maybe the next several weeks, but this is what I'm getting for you. I hope you have a great week. I will see you next time. Bye. Hello, let's take a look at the collective read for the week. Let's see how things are going collectively for all of us here on this lovely blue planet. Whoops, that flipped out. We'll use it. So the first card that flipped out here, Eight of Coins. Being productive, getting things done. We also have Nine of Coins. I love that. They're in succession. There's the eight and the nine, working hard to reach a point of comfort and returning to normal after the COVID-19 epidemic. And hopefully it's on the downslide now, which I feel it is. This is what it looks like after hard work, reaching a place or a point of normalcy here. Yeah, socially, Sovereign of Wands. There's the Queen of Wands. After being sad, sorrowful, missing people, we are again getting together with loved ones and able to spend time with each other. I love this. So let's see what else I can tell you. Definitely improvement socially, definitely improvement health-wise as a whole, which I feel is directly related to the COVID-19 virus. A return to um, socializing, 
a semi-normal social life. There's balancing, yeah, new beginnings with people. And seek, Seeker of Wands, Page of Wands. So there's invitations, parties, etc. Doing things with others. And nostalgia coming in. Higher learning and going within and people healing themselves. And then going on to help others. And restructuring. Restructuring. Yes, things are restructured. So it looks like a good week. It looks like a week of social interactions for most of us. And it looks like a week of healing for most of us. There you go. Have a great week.